In this video, I'm going to attempt to install Art Linux in a virtual machine. Uh, you see, installing Art in a virtual machine is a little bit more complicated than it should. You see, there are problems with the graphics when doing this in a virtual machine, but I can at least install it in text mode, so that will do it, I guess. Sorry if my pronunciation is a little bit bad. I'm not very used yet to speak in English, but I hope you can understand what I say. So here are the options for the virtual machine. You see the motherboard, base memory is 2 gigabytes or 2048 megabytes. The boot order doesn't, doesn't matter for this. Processor, I set up 4 cores. Well, my CPU is 4 cores, so I set them all. This comes by default. The extended features. Uh, this is in a bit important here. The previsualization interface. This will probably be set to KVM because that's meant for, to be for Linux. And then the hardware visualization here. See it. Okay. The display, video memory max. If this is a text mode only machine, so this doesn't matter very much, but having some extra memory doesn't do bad so it's okay 128 and it should be fine storage I create um, this hard disk drive is used already it has two partitions it's in BIOS mode because um, I think I didn't see uh, there's, there should be an option to set the BIOS you, oh, it, here it is. Enable EFI is that's for Wi-Fi. We don't want that. So it's BIOS and it has already two BIOS partitions: one primary and another one extended, which we will be deleting when setting up the system. Okay, so enable audio. This is by default. The network. In this case, I set up the NAT which is basically a router emulation and then a host only adapter with a network I set up ok, you can see if I do this you see we, I set a virtual interface here with everything which is this is set up this way so we can have internet in the virtual machine and an internal network for server uh, and stuff. If I want to make a website or something in a, a website server or a Apache server, I can connect to this network interface. Okay, everything else is default, so no problem here. And I can start oh, well, one, one thing. The, we want to set the storage, this CD drive. We set it to our Arch Linux, so, so we can run from it. We start, and there it is. Machine, okay. Boot Arch Lin Linux, of course. Yeah. And we w we wait for it to work. It's a good soon, of course. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we are ready here to set to set up the operating system, and this is the cell. No more explanation for it. So the first first thing we want to do here is to set up the keyboard. You know, I am Spanish, as you might notice already. 
because my pronunciation is a little bit bad yet but so I have a Spanish keyboard here but right now it's set up to um, an English keyboard or a United States keyboard so if I want to set up a Spanish keyboard I do load case yes which is the command that lo loads a keyboard layout and yes is the um, uh, the keyboard layout we want to load in this case is Spanish yes from España it will be Spain okay so once we have the keyboard set up we need to set up well first we want to check if the internet con connection is working which it should um, in this case I'm using a wired network so um, if I do this first IP, IP other which will stand for IP address then I should see all my network interfaces with their IP address because DHCP should be enabled if that's not the case then we will have to set up, man it, set up it manually but that's not the case if I do a ping to Google for instance uh, okay see for instance three okay three packet three packets we shall get this something like this this means we have an internet connection stabilized so second thing second thing we want to do is uh, the time or the clock in this case so um, for this we do a time date control okay and we set set it to ntp over internet and set it to true and this command so so give us give us um, a clock working next thing is to set up the disk so um, we want to check what disks we have first and what our layout is in our disk so as you can see here I already made an installation before which failed so I want to delete this first so in order, in order to configure the hard disk drive we can use parted which is the partition manage and in this case I want to partition div sda okay so um, you might see here we have three partitions sda1 sda2 sda5 okay sda is the name of the hard disk and then the numbers depict the partition numbers so in this case is sda only okay so we are using if sda correct that's correct now we want to remove or first print okay remove the um, all the partitions so we can start from scratch uh, RM, I think this works yes yes RM is for remove so we want to remove these partitions one by one okay print okay so if you are setting this up in a new environment uh, sorry environment this is how how it it will look when you load part part so we want to set new partitions but first if the hard disk hasn't been initialized we shall do that first so uh, let me let me remember f uh, first was uh, hold on it's uh, it's everything I'm doing it's well documented okay in this page um, it's everything is already documented but you know there are 
certain points like this that are not very well documented and that's why I wanted to explain it in a video, video first and we want to do this okay, so the first thing we want to do initialize the disk is by using the, 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 the create new this the new partition table of course and that's if we want to do a BIOS okay in this case it's BIOS not UEFI because we didn't set the EFI mode in our in our virtual machine so we do this part MK label and MS DOS so we do that MK label MS DOS uh, so yeah yes we want to do that and um, print and we shall see that the partition table is set to MS DOS. In case we have an EFI motherboard and we want to see the um, partition table to EFI or GPT in this case, we will use GPT. The difference between MS DOS or MBR and GPT is that MS DOS can have four primary partition tables and then an extended table with more logical partitions which means we could only have up to four operating systems in our hard disk however GPT allows us to do install as many as we want I think the limit was 255 or something like that I don't, I don't remember exactly what the limits were but we could have as, as many as we wanted so now we want to make new partitions and for that it was empty part okay so here it asks us which type of partition we want to make in this case I want to set up first a primary which is where we are going to install the base system the format is x4 start uh, we set it to one megabyte and that's megabytes not megabytes and then for example for instance we could set you know what I'm going to set up to 10 gigabytes and yes that's gig gigabytes not gigabytes well, okay uh, and I'm going to attend to yeah I'm going to make a second partition even though I'm not going to use it so we can see if we wanted to install a second operating system we will do quick part and now another primary and in this case I think it MS DOS if, we, if I want us to set up to Windows no it doesn't then NTFA yeah NTFA okay 10 gigabytes which is where we ended the previous partition and then the end will be third yeah 29 oh, yeah 29.9 gigabytes yeah so I made two primary partitions one is for Linux it's an X4 partition where we um, are going to install our base system and then another NTFA where we are going to install one well, not in my case but if we want us to install two operating systems we will do that way and then we need a swap partition which is the virtual memory of Linux and to do that is use just MK, MK part extended first we create an extended partition start will be 29.9 and the end will be 34 point I think it takes the whole disk yes and the next thing we do is another logical in this case uh, Linux swap like that start 29.9 Okay, and the end 34.4 gigabytes. Okay, print, and we shall see something like this. 
Okay, the first partition is where we install the operating system. Second is where we will install our secondary operating system, which we should have installed first, by the way. If we are going to install Windows, um, we will install it first and then Linux. But okay, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to install Windows in these virtual machines, so it doesn't matter. It is a case in scenario. So, um, okay, so we can quit here now that we have our virtual hard disk set up. And now make file system point x4 on. First thing is BLK to check our hard disks. Okay, so SDA1 is our 9.3 gigabyte partition, which is our Linux partition. So make file system point x4 dev sda1 contains an x4 file system. Okay, it doesn't matter. This okay, that formats our partition to x4. So we have our hard disk hard disk setup now. We can proceed to mount it like this, dev sda1 to mount. This creates a new mount point in the, as you can see, in the sda1 with read write permissions. Okay. So now we can proceed to install the base system. Which is packstrap mount base and that installs a base system. Nothing special. We use we just wait for it to finish and it will eventually finish installing. If we didn't set up our network first and we didn't have a network connection set up, we will do it before we do this because it obviously requires a network connection to download the package so yeah that's pretty much it up to this point i'm sorry my pronunciation is a little bit too bad it's it's my very first video where i speak to be honest so i'm not very used yet to speaking english um, I kind of wanted to practice it in a video to make it make me more comfortable comfortable with it. And yeah. So this takes a small while depending on our internet connection. But it shouldn't take too long. Especially since I have a lot of bandwidth. So it should be fine. And by the way, it it also set up our yeah our kernel image image, so you don't have to worry about it. It is specified in the installation installation guide that you have to set up the kernel the init the init RAM image but it's not necessary because the system just does it for us in this case oh, it's okay Okay, so it's ready now, and now what we do, what we do, is to generate an fstaff file, which is very simple. Gen fstaff minus u in mount, and we append this to 
mount etc etc f state like that done that's it now we can ch root to our mounted folder which is arch ch root mount okay so right now we are logged into into our system and we can work like like if we boot up in our system first thing we want to do is set the time zone which is very simple first we want to list our available time zones which is in user share zone info there it is and then for instance I'm European so it will be Europe Europe yeah and my time zone will be Madrid so the command is ln for a symbolic link sf to user share zone info euro Madrid and we generate this symbolic link into etc local time like that and there it is now we set the clock to real time hardware hardware clock system to hardware clock there it is now the the keyboard we want to set up the keyboard so whenever we log in to our system we have our, our keyboard set up so first we want to use nano if I can type first okay etc locate gen okay. in this file we shall locate n as n it's alphabetical n us us utf8 and, and comment this line like that we erase this symbol here in this line f3 enter control x and we exit the file we want to set up the local config so we do the same into nano etc locate conf first thing locate gen ok first thing with the, the, the local gen local gen and then nano etc okay, conf which is the file we, jo we just generate and we are going to set up lang equal n us f3 control x and we exit and now the keyword nano etc v console conf keymap equal in make in in my case it's yes but if you have another keyboard layout you set up uh, to your language you no know? uh, okay so we set up the keyboard in case you were you were for instance American the default keyboard will work but the, the code will be US instead instead of IS so now we set up a hostname which is nano etc hostname hostname for instance mean machine okay because some people think arch is a meme operating system and they like memes so mean machine f3 enter control x and that's done last thing we have to do is set up the host which is etc host 
new line. This is 27.0.0.1 uh, host dot local domain uh, tab and min machine and that's it f3 enter control x and that's done now we want to set up our dhcp because that's not done so hold on a second so we can remember it because i did did it before and i have uh, hold on where is my thing here okay yes is okay hold on a second uh, 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 yeah this is dhcp okay so um, well you see here we have our three i mean two network interfaces we want to use number two and three the number one is the loop it's what is called the loopback which is it simply points to our, our computer we are not using that of course so we are going to set up dhcp in our two real interfaces which is simply mm, hold on a second uh, 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 I don't remember all the commands so I have to be looking at documentation or everything but this is very simple it's just uh, 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 hold on uh, 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 um. maybe I can find it today okay hold on uh, alright I don't remember which was the DHCP server exactly. It's no, this is not it. Uh, yeah, the wiki is mm, not exactly. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Uh, to enable it, so it starts automatically when we start the system. Is system control enable dhcp c d at uh, in this case our network interface which will be uh, emp 0 s 8 and that should that should work i think yeah uh, and then or 17 System control enable DHCP. Okay, that should work. Right now we should have DHCP enabled in our machine. So whenever we log in into our, our installation and not the installer, we should have an internet connection. Otherwise, we won't because we will have to set up manually the network configuration, which we don't want to do. Not very hard, we, we don't want to do that. Uh, another thing to note is that we need to have a DHCP server in, in our network enabled or it won't work anyway. We will have to do it manually, which is not very hard, but we don't want to do that. Uh, okay, last thing we want to do is just set up a user, just user add, for instance, send me done and a password for that user which I'm going to set and that's that's it uh, we have everything set up here right now so we can exit reboot now and it will reboot into our, our system take out the disk first for some mount, okay, we don't want it. So, oh. yeah, I fuck up there. Okay, reset, and it will boot into. Oh, yeah. 
I forgot one very important thing first. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just forgot to set up the boot manage manager. So um, okay. I screw up there a little bit, but mm, it's not a big problem. We will be setting up group in this machine. So yeah. We put into the install here, okay, again. Uh, everything we did is pretty much pretty much stored into our, into our disk, so that's not a problem here. Okay, last case, yes, okay. Mount the SDA1 into mount and then arch fetch root into mount. Okay, we are back. Uh, Pacman S uh, group. I think this works. Uh, I think this works, works. 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 Yes. Okay. Nice. Now uh, I don't have another operating system installed in this machine, but if I wanted to have a um, Windows installation or something in this machine. Okay, I want us to install first OS Prover. I think it's Pro or Prover. It's Prover. Yeah, it's Prover. OS Prover. This package makes Groove detect operating systems in our machine automatically, which is pretty convenient. So if you want to have Windows installed among arts, then get that package first. Uh, now, installation, we install grub, we do a grub install. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, this fell off. Okay. Sorry if there is a loud noise, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, target equal, I think, I3386 so work. Okay, that and dev SDA. If we didn't activate our boot partition, which I think I didn't do, by the way, this will to enable our partition or boot flag into our partition so maybe not I think it does hold on the SDA oh, of course but this the SDA print yeah it's not not activate I forgot to activate the bootable boot flag which is set Put one on, I think. Set or set one. Hold on, one boot on. Yeah, set one boot on. And as you can see in flags, the partition number one has the boot flag on, which I also forgot. Uh, quit and then arch each rod into mount again. Uh, I forgot many things, but yeah, basically that's how did you do it. And now, mm, I think we are. Oh yeah, the configuration file in group, which is grab mkconfig o boot grab grab dot c f config. Okay, enter and that should generate a config file automatically. We don't set up the this file automatically because this overrides it. Okay, that I think doesn't matter. Uh, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. There is nothing else to do. Yeah, if we want this to set up 
manually or file we will have to do nano yeah, and default grow I think yeah this is the file we should be setting up if we wanted to set for instance no mode set for graphical interface it will be here no mode set okay in this case I'm not going to set up, set it up because as I said earlier virtual machines doesn't get along very well with desktop environments I don't know if I don't know how to set them up correctly or they simply fail but X or always fails so yeah and now it's it should be ready to boot yeah now and it's it should work this time device remove disk yeah it works we will be uh, we boot into our Linux okay and moment of throat that of truth yeah waiting 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 that's the the ICPD so it works As you can see we will have an internet connection right now okay and there we go home um, yeah we are not done yet because mm -mm. first mm, hold on first uh, hold on Okay, we didn't make a home directory for our user, so we do that now. Home. Okay. Switch on. Okay, common Linux command, so explanation here. And then. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mouse and the home send for send not nothing uh, okay okay hold on send yeah okay okay Test, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, everything works, yes, yes, okay, we are, I forgot to set up, <laughs> I did something wrong there, and the um, home directory for my new user was not created, but as you can see here, it works, I can do that, uh, wait, uh, la, 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 la. Mm. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, okay, never mind that. Uh, I did something wrong there. Okay, never mind. I can do this and problem solved. But pretty much our system is installed by now, it's pretty much working. Okay, I can start installing things like I don't know Max and uh, X and I, I don't have also, also I, I think is whatever yeah whatever I, I could start installing whatever I want like I don't know, a desktop environment or whatever and it would work 
so yeah that's pretty much it we are in text mode but our system right now is working so yeah that's pretty much it that's how you install art <laughs> sort of I mean I did a few things wrong here and there but it's okay it works uh, so yeah that's that's all so thanks for watching and see ya